So today we're going to go over scanning with a phone or a tablet. So the agenda for today is I'm going to go over what is scanning uh, using your phone as a, like a like default camera to like scan your documents. I'm going to go over apps that you could use to help scan your photos. I'm going to go over where to get the apps and I'm going to demonstrate how to like use your device to scan a document and how to use your device to scan a photo. So what is scanning? So scanning kind of involves like using a device to like scan a document or a photo. So you might be used to like using like a flatbed scanner. So like at the library right now, we have like all-in-one scanners where it's kind of big. You kind of kind of put your document in it or your photo in it and use it to scan. And it saves to let's say your flash drive or you can email it to yourself. And that's one way of scanning your document or your photo. Or you can use your phone or tablet that has a camera and you use that kind of scan your documents or photos. And once you scan your documents or photos, usually you would save it to like, uh, like a format. So if it's a document, then you would save it to like a PDF format. Or if it's like a photo, you would save it to a, what we call a JPEG format or a PNG format. And these are usually reserved for photos. And if it's like a document, then it's usually like a PDF. And once you use that to scan like your documents, then you could have like all these documents, then you could kind of use these documents to like submit the file to someone. Like for instance, you might have like a job application that you might need to like scan certain documents. You could use the flatbed scanner or you could use your phone or tablet to scan it. Or if you have like a doctor's form and your doctor requires you to scan it and send it in, then you could use like a flatbed scanner or your phone or tablet as well too, as well as like verification forms. So one way of uh, scanning your document is using the default camera app. So if you have a smartphone or a tablet, then um, most likely you would have like a camera on there. And if you have a camera on there, then they usually have like a default camera app. It's usually kind of indicated by, let's say like a camera icon or like a little photo icon. And you can use that. You can open up the, def uh, the device's default camera app. You could use that to take a photo of your document. And the document usually saves as a photo onto your device. So this kind of varies, it, it depends on what kind of device you have. You might have like an Android device, you might have like an iPhone or iPad. So the process is very similar, but it might look a little different dependent on your device and how you access like the photos and how you access the camera app. So the benefit is you do not need to download another app since you already have the default camera app on your device. You might have some editing options as well too. Like you can edit like your photos, you could crop it a little bit, but the limitations are there might be a glare in your documents. So let's say you might have like a shiny photo or you might have like a document, but it's kind of glossy. And if you use your default cameras app, you might not have the option of, let's say removing the glare. And also if you use your default camera app, you might save that scan or that photo as like a photo, but not as a PDF. And sometimes when you submit like a document, they might require you to submit it in the PDF format. And also, if you're using the default cameras app, you might have like limited ability to kind of correct like image distortion. So for example, you might be taking like a document or a photo and you're using your camera app to kind of take a photo of it, but then you're not angling it at like a good angle. So you might be at like a different angle and your photo might look like you're taking it from like a weird angle and your document is not flat. And certain apps I'm gonna go over today, it might help with that. It, it might kind of adjust it. So it makes it seems like you're taking a photo and the document's like flat on the table and your final result will look flat. And also like you have, might have limited color correction for documents. So um, for certain apps, they might give you the option of correcting the, the color. It might be a little bit dark. It might be a little bit light, but if you're using the default camera app, you might not have all these options. So on your screen right now, I have a list of apps that you could use to kind of help you scan. So there are a lot of apps out there and I would not have time to go over all of them. So I've made like a short list. So this list is not like, um, like a complete list, but these are just some of the available apps. So the first app is Adobe Scan, which is right here on your screen. Second app is Photo Scan by Google. Third app is Google Drive Scan. So this one, it's, it is your Google Drive app, but within the Google Drive app, there is an option for you to use your camera 
to scan a document and save it to your Google Drive account. The fourth one is Microsoft Lens. Fifth one right here is Genius Scan. Sixth one is PhotoScan app by Photomain. And there's many, many more. For today's session, I'm gonna go over the top three apps on this list right here. So I'm gonna go over Adobe Scan. I'm gonna go over PhotoScan by Google. And I'm gonna go over Google Drive Scan. So downloading an app, it is dependent on the type of device you have. So if you have like an Android device, like an Android phone or tablet, then you would go to the Google Play Store and you, you go in there and you would search for, let's say like a document scanning app or like a photo scanning app. And you could go there and you could search for any of the apps that I've listed on the previous screen, or you could search for one that's not on the list as well. If you have an iPhone or iPad, then you would go to the Apple App Store and you would do the same thing. You would search for an app and then you would download it to your device and install it. The steps to scanning a document or photo. So the first thing is you, if you wanna use an app, then you could download like a scanning app to your device. Then afterwards, you might need to create an account. So for today's session, uh, one of the apps I'm gonna go over, they do require you to create an account. And once you create the account, then you have access to the, their features. And the app I'm going over today is free, but there is like a premium version of it as well too, which if you pay like a monthly fee or like a yearly fee, you might get like more features. And the, the third step is you scan your document or photo. So you use your device, you open the app and then you scan your document or photo. Then afterwards you save it to your device and then you can share it with someone as well. So scanning a document or photo, this is more like a visual uh, instruction. So you would open your device, you would scan it, and then you look at your document, and after you scan it, you have the image on your device. Okay, so demonstration time. I have two devices here. I'm going to use it to scan a couple of documents and like a photo as well, too. So for today's session, I'm going to use an iPad and I'm going to use an Android device to demonstrate how to like scan a document and a photo. So on your screen right now, you should be seeing uh, my iPad right now. So like I mentioned earlier, it really depends on what device you have. So you might have, let's say a newer version of iPad or you have like older version of Android. So it really depends on which version you have, but it, it, it might look a little bit different, but it's kind of like all the same concepts. So you might have, let's say an icon here, it might not look the same as the icon on my screen as well. Okay, so the first app I'm gonna go over is Adobe Scan. So for Adobe Scan, this is one of the apps that you might need to sign up for an account. So once you sign up for an account, you have an account with Adobe. And once you scan your documents, they give you the option of kind of saving your documents to the, your Adobe account, which is somewhere in the cloud, and you have that document there. Or you could just share it with someone else or share it with yourself as well. So I'm going to go to Adobe Scan. It's here on my screen. I'm going to click on it. So once you download the app, it will ask you to sign for an account. And once you sign for an account, or if you have an account already, you sign in. And yes, so once you sign in, you should see something similar to what you see on, on the screen right now. So it's going to activate your device's camera, and it, you can look for any document that you want to scan. So on the bottom of your screen right here, there should be, it looks kind of like a, like a toolbar, and it has like a lot of options. So right now, the default is to documents. So if you use your finger and you kind of scroll to the left or the right, you can select more options as well too. So right now I'm selected the business card option, but I'm gonna scroll through these various options. So the next one is document, the next one is form, and the next one is whiteboard. So there's a whiteboard option where let's say you're in class and someone writes a lot of things on the whiteboard and you wanna take a photo of it. You can use Adobe Scan and then you could use the whiteboard option and you can take a photo of that and it should kind of clear off certain things on the whiteboard so it'll make it look a little bit better. But today I'm going to use this to scan a document. I have a sample document right here. So on your screen right now, you should be seeing um, I'm in the Adobe Scan app and I have activated that option and I have a document right in front of my camera. This is a sample resume, and I'm gonna take a photo of it and try to save it as a file. And on the bottom of your screen, there is a circle option. That is where you click on where you would kind of take your photo, but there is another option as well too. So if you go to the bottom middle of the screen and you look to the left, there is kind of like an icon with like a line kind of crossed out of it. But that's kind of like the automatic kind of automatic scan option. So if you tap on it, 
it should remove the line that's crossed out. And once you do that, it will automatically look for any documents that you place right in front of your camera. And once you do that, and if there's a document, it will automatically take that photo. So as you can see right now, it located this option in front of the camera and it took a photo of it. So now you're not limited to this photo. So if you don't like it, you always retake it later on as well too. And you can make your adjustments. So right now you can see it kind of took a photo of the entire document and you can kind of adjust the sighting as well too, or the top or the bottom. If you locate like the, there is like a little circle at the far left-hand corner, there's kind of like a rectangle in the middle of the top of, of the page. So you can use your finger and you can move this around. And you can see like where is the actual document, and you can kind of move it to wherever you want, and you think that looks good. So I'm going to make some minor adjustments here. And notice on the bottom of your screen, there's um, kind of like contact information. So once you use Adobe Scan, and it kind of scans your documents. It kind of scans it to see if there is, let's say, like a website address on there, or if there's like a phone number on there, and it will let you know at the bottom. So this is a sample document, so I, I don't have any real contact information, but on the bottom of your screen right now, you should be seeing, see, there is a phone number that says 123456. So it scanned my document, and it noticed that this is a phone number on there, and it is letting me know. It found like an email address, but it, it's not really an email address, and it thinks that it's like a website, so it kind of listed that on the bottom as well, too. So let's say I'm happy with my scan right now. So I'm going to hit continue, which is on the bottom right-hand corner, or if I'm not happy with it, on the bottom right-hand corner, there is a link that says retake, and I can retake uh, like the photo of this image as well, too. So I'm going to hit continue. So now it's kind of saved the document and it brought me back to the actual screen where I could look for like a different document as well too. So in order for you to get to your document that you just scanned, you locate a little image on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's usually like a small like a preview of what the image you had just taken before. So right now it's on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to tap on that. So once I tap on that, it's going to bring me to the screen right here. So it's going to give you a preview about what, uh, what your scan looks like. And if you can look on your screen, it looks kind of good. It looks kind of crooked. So it really depends on how you take your photo. So it's kind of recommended that you have your document on a flat surface and your device should be directly on top of it. And you don't have like a weird angle. That's how you kind of take your photo and it will, it will kind of process and it will make it look better. So on the bottom of your screen right here, there should be like a, like a toolbar with all the available options. I'm going to go to the color option. So before I go there, take a look at your screen right now and look at the quality of this image. OK. So on the bottom of your screen, there is a toolbar. And I'm going to read out your available options. So I'm just going to start from the left. On the left-hand side, there should be an icon that says Add Page. And to the right of that, it's going to be reorder. And to the right of that, it's going to be crop. And to the right of that, it's going to be rotate. And to the right of that, it's going to be color. And then the next would be cleanup, page size, and delete. So delete is the last option, which is on the far right-hand corner of the bottom of the, the toolbar. And I'm going to click on the color option, which is near the middle bottom. OK, so right now, it automatically uh, selected auto color. So it looked at my document, and it's saying that it might need a little adjustment. So it did the adjustment for me. So I'm going to go to original color so you can see what the original uh, scan was. And you can see like, if there's like a difference or not. OK, so on your screen right now, this is the original scan. So this is a scan of the document that I had on my table, and I scanned it. And if you look at it, the color looks kind of dark, it's kind of gray. But if I use auto color, it kind of corrected all of that and it kind of cleared off everything. So it made it look a little bit better. And there are other options here as well too. The next option is grayscale. So it made a little adjustment. So you might not be able to see a difference.
So this is really helpful if you have like a document and you want to make it look better. And once you scan it, you'll kind of use auto color. It's going to kind of clear off everything. It makes everything look a little bit brighter. So if you need to send it to someone, it looks a little bit more professional. And if you need to crop it again, there is the crop option on the bottom left-hand corner of this page as well too. So I'm going to select that again. And it's going to bring me back to this page right here where you can kind of recrop your document. So I'm just gonna make a little adjustment right there. And once you're done, you locate the check mark near the top right hand corner of the page and you'll click on that and it's gonna readjust your document. Okay, so there is your document. And if you notice on your screen right here, on the right hand side, right above the letters that, that says skills, there is kind of like a little dot there. So you might not want that on your final scan. So there is an option on the bottom right hand corner and it should say clean up. So right there, if you click on clean up, then it will give you this option right here. And then you could kind of use the cleanup option to kind of clear off certain things on your scan. So like, for example, right above the skills letters, there's like a little dot. So you use the cleanup option and you could kind of clear that off. And this is very helpful if you have like a document and it doesn't look very good. There's like a little mark on the bottom or left or right. Then you use the cleanup option and this usually clears it off and your final document will look very clear. And I'm gonna hit the check mark. Okay, and there it is. So I corrected that one. Okay, so now if you're happy with your document, then you would go to the save PDF option, which is on the far right-hand corner of the page. But before you do that, look at the top middle of your page, right? Right there is a scan August 24th, 2021. So that's kind of like the default name of the documents. So you could change it to a, whatever name you like by clicking on the pencil icon, which is to the right of the title. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna change the document to hello. And once I do that, I'll hit okay. So it's, it's gonna change the title of the document. And if you're happy with that, then you will go to save PDF which is at the top right-hand corner of your page. And you click on that. Okay, so once you click on save PDF, it is gonna save to your device and it's gonna save to your account in Adobe as well too. And once it does save, it'll bring you to this page right here. And usually on the top of the page, you'll see the most recent document, and near the middle to the bottom of the page, you see all the previous scans that you have done in the past. And these are all the previous scans that I've done in the past. So next, I'm gonna go over your options. So look near the top of your screen right now and look to the right. So there are like kind of four options there. Starting from the top, there is an icon that says share and there's like a, like a box icon with like an arrow pointing up. So this is where you would share your documents. So let's say you took a, a photo of your resume right now and you wanna share it with someone. So you click on the share icon, which is the first option on the top right-hand corner. And it's gonna ask you, how do you want to share your document? So there are a couple of options. So you could share a link and that's usually the first option from the bottom. And it's gonna indicate it by like a paperclip. So you would click on that. And it is gonna create like a link for your document. And then once it creates the link, you could copy the link and you could kind of email it to someone, you could email it to yourself, then you have access to this document or you could email it to whoever you want to have access to this document too. I'm gonna to click back. And the next option is open in Acrobat. So you could open this document onto your device and you can look at your documents. Or if you don't wanna save it as a PDF, you could save it as a JPEG, which is kind of like a photo format. And that is the third option on your, on your screen right now, which is near the top right-hand corner. You click on save as JPEG and it's gonna save this scan as like a photo document. And if you, if you want more options, you will go to more, which is the fourth option on the top right-hand corner. And once you hit more 
on, from the bottom up, you should have these all these options show up on your screen. So you save pages as JPEG, and you can modify scan. And like I mentioned earlier, this is Adobe Scan, and it is a free app. But then there are um, paid versions as well too. So you could pay it and get like a premium version, and you get more options. And on your screen right here, you can see on the left bottom corner, there should be an option that says export PDF. And there is kind of like a circle with like a star on it. So this is like a pr premium version. And on the bottom of that, it says combined files. This is a premium version as well too. So you don't have access to this in the free version. If you want to use this feature, then you might have to subscribe and give them like a fee in order for you to use this, this premium version. Okay, so that's how you scan a document. So I'm gonna go back. So on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, there should be two icons. One icon is kind of, it looks like a, a camera. The other icon looks like a photo. I'm gonna click on the photo icon, which is the left option. And it's gonna bring me back to the scanning option, which is right here on your screen. So earlier I scanned like a sample resume, but next I'm gonna scan application that you might have and you might need to scan it and you might need to fill it out like a, at a later time. So I have on your screen right here, like a sample library card application. So I'm not gonna scan it yet. So right now the default is to document, but I'm gonna switch the option to form and it's gonna do a, something a little bit different to your scan. So in order for you to do that, you locate the bottom of your screen, you should see like a circle option in the middle and you look above that, there is an option that says document and there's the form option to the left. I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna to switch to the form option and I'm gonna scan this document right now. And earlier I mentioned that there's an automatic scan feature. So right now that automatic scan feature is off and you could tell by looking to the left of the circle on the bottom of your screen. And there's like a little like circle icon with like a line drawn through it. So that shows you that the automatic scan option is off and you have to manually scan your document or form. So I'm gonna click on the scan button, which is the middle circle. Okay, so it took a photo of my form and notice that it didn't kind of recognize the entire form. So whatever is within kind of like the like the box, that's what you're gonna get on the image. But do not worry about that because you can always adjust the corners, you can make it a little bit bigger so you can show all of your form. So on the bottom right here, you should see the line that says, please do not write below this line. And it didn't scan that for some reason. So it didn't know that there were more like words on the bottom. So in order for me to fix that, I will locate the square box on the middle of the bottom of the page. I'll use my finger and I'll drag it down to wherever I want. And it's gonna include that section within my documents. And I'm gonna make adjustments to my scan. Okay, so after I've made my adjustments, I think this is good. I'm gonna hit continue, which is on the bottom right hand corner of the page. And it is gonna save that document. And I'm gonna access that document by looking to the bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna tap on the little icon right there. Okay, so here is my scan. So earlier I went over how when you do a scan, then it might kind of adjust your color. So it, it makes it look a little bit better. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let you see what the original color was by going to the bottom of the page and locating the color option. Click on color and it's defaulted to auto color. I'm gonna go to original color and this is the original color. So it looks kind of a little darker. It doesn't look very good. So I'm just gonna use auto color and it's gonna brighten my entire scan. And I'm gonna hit save PDF near the top right-hand corner of the page. And it is gonna save that to my account in Adobe. And then you have the other options as well too on the top right-hand corner, share, open in Acrobat. And there is an additional feature right here. 
So earlier, I mentioned that this is a form and I selected the form option. So once you select the form option, you should see this option that says fill and sign, which is to the right of the top of your, your screen. And you will click on that and you should, you should be able to kind of fill out your application or form. In order for you to do, do this, you have to have Adobe Acrobat Reader. So if you do not have that on your device yet, you have to go to the Google Play Store. If you have an Android device or if you have an Apple device, you have to go to Apple App Store and download Adobe Acrobat Reader first before you can use this feature. So this is a form and, and let's say you need to fill it out and you don't want to kind of print it out before you send it to someone because it might be a hassle. You might need to print it out. You fill it out with like a pen or pencil, then you have to rescan it, then you have to send it to someone. But with this option, you don't have to print it out. You could just fill it out on your device and you could save it and you could send it to whoever you need to. So right here, it is the form. And let's say on the left-hand side of your screen, there's the option that says last name. So you wanna fill it out. So you would use your finger, you tap on that section. And once you tap on that section right here, I tapped on the last name option and kind of like a square box appeared with like a, a cursor blinking. So this is the option for you to kind of type in your last name. Okay, I typed in that. So I'm gonna to go to the first name option, which is the middle of your screen. Okay, so I typed in that. So that's how you kind of fill out like an application without actually printing it out, but you just scan it with your device using Adobe Scan. And once you're, you're done, you hit done, which is on the top left-hand corner of the screen. Then that should remove that option. And next we'll be saving this. So you will go to the top right-hand corner of your screen. You will locate the three dots and you will click on the three dots. And I'm gonna do that again. And once you click on the three dots, you should have like a whole menu of options. And this is where you would use to kind of save your document. So you would go to the bottom, you should hit save as a copy. And it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it to. So on this iPad or to your Adobe account, or if you have like OneDrive account or a Google Drive account or Dropbox, then you can save that there as well too. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna hit cancel but this is how you would save your final document with your adjustments. Like you would fill in your form, you fill in your last name, first name, your address. So anything that's required on the form. So I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna exit out. So that's how you would use Adobe Scan on your device to scan a document or a form. Hey, Michael, before you leave yeah. there, there was a question about um, scanning um, multiple pages into one single document. Okay, so it's scanned this first page. If I hit continue. Then I'm gonna scan the second page. Okay, so I scanned two pages. And on the bottom right-hand corner of your page, you should see like a little icon. It says the number two on it. So two pages. So I'm going to click on that. So that's kind of how you would scan multiple pages. So you scan your first document first. And then once you scan it, you, it saves. Then you scan your next document. And you can scan it again. You can scan like 10 pages. And once you scan your 10 pages, you're done. You will locate the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. You look for a little icon of like a preview of your previous scans. And there should be like a number on the bottom right-hand corner that tells you how many scans you have done. So for example, today I have done two scans. Right now on your screen, you should see page one. And if you use your finger and you scroll on your screen, it should be page two as well too. So you can scan as many pages as you want. And once you're done, you will just hit the save PDF, which is on the top right-hand corner of the page. So if you're not done yet, you hit cancel. You could just rescan all the documents you want before you save it as a final product. And that's how you would scan multiple pages. I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna exit out of this. Thank you, Brian. So next I'm gonna go over 
the Google Photo Scan. So you would have to download this app if you don't have it yet. Then you would go to the Apple App Store if you have like a like an iPhone or iPad, or you would go to the Google Play Store if you have like an Android device. And I already have this on my device right here already. So it is right here. It says Photo Scan. So it might not say Google in the title, but that's a part of the, the app's name. So I'm gonna tap on that. And it's gonna activate your camera. It's gonna bring you directly in to the app and you would scan your photo. So the reason why you would wanna use this app is because your photos, it might be like in a glossy format. So there might be like a reflection. And if you use like the default camera app on your device, and you take a photo of that, it might have some glare. Or if you use like a different app, it might have some glare as well too. So there are apps out there that kind of help you with taking photos with the glare and it removes the glare for you. So this app will kind of help you do that as well too. So I have this book right here. The cover is very glossy, so there is a glare. Bottom of your screen, there should be like a circle icon. That's where you will click on where you want to activate it. So it will take your photo. This is kind of activates like the automatic uh, option where you will kind of take multiple shots of the same photo and it's going to kind of combine it to make like a final product. So it might look a little bit better. So I'm going to click on circle right now. So once you click on the circle on your screen, you should see four other circles, like in the square box. And there should be like arrow. So once you see the four circles, you will move the circle in the middle to one of the other circles on the side. So once you do that, you will follow the arrow and you would move it to the next circle. So right now it's taking multiple shots of the same photo and it's gonna combine it in the very end to make a final product. So I've taken a, a photo uh, of this book cover and it's gonna combine all the various photos and it's gonna make a final product. And for you to look at your photo, you locate the little icon on the bottom right-hand corner, which is to the right of the little circle where you clicked on to take your photo. So I'm gonna click on that. So it's gonna bring me to all the photos that I've taken in the past. And usually the most recent one is on the top left-hand corner, which is right here. I'm gonna tap on that. So, okay, so that is the scan that I just made right now. And you can always make adjustments. So it saved it upside down. So I will locate the rotate option, which is on the bottom left-hand corner. So there are three options on the bottom. First option on the left is rotate. The middle option is adjust corners. And the third option, which is on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen is the delete icon, which you choose to delete the scan if you don't think it looks good. So I'm gonna choose the rotate option, which is on the bottom left-hand corner. And I'm gonna rotate it to the correct side, uh, orientation. And I'm gonna select adjust corners. So I'm gonna adjust corners by selecting like the little circle uh, on the very corners. I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna tap on it and drag it to wherever I think looks better. Okay, so I think this looks good. I'm gonna hit done, which is on the bottom right-hand corner. So there is a little bit gap on the side, but let's see. So let's say, I think this looks good. So I'm gonna hit the arrow, which is near the top left-hand corner, gonna bring it back, and then that's gonna save to your device and that's gonna be how you would scan like a photo. So I am gonna scan this again, but I'm gonna use the default camera option and you can see how there's a difference or not. So I'm gonna locate the camera. So this is gonna be the default camera app on your device. So this is gonna be the default camera for iPad. And I'm going to take a photo of it. 
So I'm going to look at the photo that I just scanned. So it might not be as obvious on your screen, but uh, let's see. It's kind of glossy from what I'm looking at right now, but it might not be as obvious. But in the previous scan with um, the photo scan by Google, it kind of took away of the gloss a little bit. So not a big difference, but it might be a little bit more obvious if you have like a photo and with like people in it, then it might be a little bit more obvious. So let me try scanning one more document. On your screen right now, I have another book with a more glossy kind of cover. So I'm gonna tap on the little icon on the bottom circle. This is gonna activate it. And there's these four dots, and I'll move the center dot to each of the circles. So it's going to scan, it's going to combine all the photos. And once it's done, it's going to let you know on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, and you click on the little circle. So it saved it, so it's going to be the first one on the top left. I'm going to use my finger tap on that. And I'm going to use the bottom options to rotate to, to the orientation where it's right side up. Okay, so this is the scan of the cover that I just scanned. It was very glossy and it removed some of the gloss. So it looks like this. And I'm gonna use the default camera app on my iPad and I'm gonna take the exact same photo and you can see what the difference is. So pay attention to your screen right now. This is the image using photo scan by Google. And I'm gonna to go to the default camera app. And this is going to be the final product of using the default camera app. So it didn't kind of remove the glare. And you can see there's the glare right between the M and the A and on the bottom as well, too. And it doesn't look very good. But if you go back to Google Photo Scan, this is the other product where it removed all the glare. So you can see there is a big difference. OK, so that is the Photo Scan by Google app. And I'm going to go over one more app. On your screen right now, you should be seeing my Android screen. But right now, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Google Drive scan option on my Android device. So earlier, I went over how to use those two apps on an iPad. So now I'm using an Android device. And you would have to download the Google Drive app onto your device as well. And you have to have some kind of a, like a Google account. So if you have like a Gmail account, then you should sign into that. And you should have the Google Drive account active. And I'm gonna locate the Google Drive icon, which is to the right, top right. And if you don't have it yet, you could go to like the Google Play Store, download Drive, but most likely if it's like an Android device, you have the Drive app on there already. But if you have like an iPad or an iPhone, you go to the Apple App Store and you would type in Drive or Google Drive and you would download that app onto your device and you would sign into your account. So I'm gonna tap on the Drive icon right there. It's gonna bring me in to the Google Drive app. And once you tap on that and you're signed in, it should give you like an image of like your previous documents. And the most recent one is near top. And if you scroll down more, the later ones should be on the bottom. And on your screen right now, you should be seeing like an image that I've taken before. And on the bottom of your screen, there should be like a four icons. From the left, it should be like a home icon, which is indicated by like a house. And to the right of that should be the start option, which has like a star, star icon. And to the right of that should be the shared icon where there's like two people. And to the right of that should be the file icon, which is um, like the option where you access all your files. And right above that, you should see kind of like a plus sign in like a rainbow color. So this is where we're gonna go. So this is kind of activates your other options and you use your finger, you tap on that. And once you tap on that, it should bring you to this page right here where it gives you like all the options within the Google Drive. And the only option today we're gonna look at is the scan option, which is 
to the right of your screen and it should be like an icon that looks like a camera and you will tap on the scan option right there and it should activate the scan option okay so it's going to activate your device's camera and you should be able to scan your document right now So I'm gonna use the same documents that I've scanned earlier. On your screen right now, you should be seeing what I'm seeing right now, which is the sample uh, resume that I've scanned before. So I'm gonna scan it again. So I'm just gonna angle it where it's within my frame and I'm gonna tap on the circle, which is on the bottom of your screen. This activates the, the process of taking the photo. And it's going to take the photo right now. So give it, give it a second. OK, so it should be saved right now. So on your screen, you should be seeing like an image of the sample resume that I just took a photo of using the Google Drive scan option. And on the bottom of your screen, you should see two icons. One icon is an X on the left, and one icon is a check mark on the right. So I'm going to click on the check mark, which is on the right. And it should bring you to this screen right here. So notice that not all of the, the document is within the screen. So you will have to adjust it. So you use the adjust option, which is on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It kind of looks like, like a little square box. You tap on that icon and it should bring you to this page right here. So I'm not sure why it's upside down. So I might have taken the photo upside down, but this is kind of very similar to what I went over earlier. You might have to adjust the area within the screen to show your document. And you would do that by clicking on any of the circles at the corners and you move it to wherever you think your document should end. So I'm gonna do that very quickly. Okay, so if I think this is good, I'm gonna hit done. And then right now it should be saving it. So I'm just gonna rotate it to the correct orientation. Okay, so it should be right side up. And this is my scan of my sample resume. And if you look to the top of your screen right here, it gave it a, like a default name and look at the very end after the numbers, it is .pdf. So it's saving this as a PDF form within your Google Drive account. So you have this document within there and you could save it, you could send it to someone else, um, you could submit the document to someone else. And that's how you would use the Google Drive scan option to scan your document and save it as a PDF. And I'm gonna make a little bit of adjustment. So on the bottom of your screen, you have four options. Second option is kind of like a, like a color palette. I'm gonna tap on that so you can see what it looks like. So you have these options. So it should be none, black and white color, or color drawing. So I'm gonna keep it as black and white. I'm gonna tap on it and hit save. And it's gonna activate the process of saving your document. So you can name the document like any name you want. And it's gonna ask you which account you wanna save it to. So that's my account right, right there. And it's gonna ask me where do you wanna save it to. So it's gonna save it in, in my drive folder within my Google Drive account. And I'm just gonna hit save. And it's going to save it, and there, there is, there's your document. OK, so that is my presentation on how to kind of use your devices to kind of scan your documents or photos.